Hey y'all, Chrissy here. Super excited to jump in with you today to talk about today's text. Um, before we get started, make sure you grab a pencil and a paper because we're going to have some reflection questions at the end that we would love for you to jot down and bring to class. Um, so we're going to jump in today um, with our text that deals with sense giving and cognitive shifts. Um, the big overarching thought of today's text deals with leaders looking to influence followers' perceptions, attitudes, and beliefs to strengthen commitment to the organization's goals. So this is super important for us as leaders and like really resonated with me um, because we have to shift perceptions in order to get um, our schools where we want them to be um, and create that buy-in. So we're gonna talk about two different cognitive shifts today. And our first one is issues related. Um, so there's issues related cognitive shifts. This is a cognitive shift that is centered around an issue, um, issue thought idea. Um, so with the issues related, we're gonna look at how the audience views the problem or solution. And our second one is constituency related. So this is how the constituency views itself how it views different parts of the constituency, how one part of the constituency views another, and how the audience views the constituency. So this question is, how do we create these cognitive shifts? Like, how do we do that? And it is through whoo, this concept that we've already talked about, framing. So we're gonna do it through framing, and we're gonna look into these different types of cognitive shifts and give examples of how we will frame the conversation. So we're gonna first look into issues related um, cognitive shifts. And the first part of that, we're gonna look into this first section of establishing a root cause of the problem. A framing strategy that you can use is to demonstrate that the root cause, that the person is the cause of the root problem and creating that perception into it. The next part is to heightening the importance of a problem or broadening the scope of the problem. Um, the way you can do this is argue through framing. The way you can do this through framing is argue that this is not a new problem. This is not a new problem and they can be a part of it and we need to do something and create urgency around it. And our final part is the solution. So through the solution, you want to frame this in a way that the solution is another way for you to reach the goal. It's an alternative way for the issue to be solved. Alrighty, y'all, so we're gonna jump to this constituency-related piece. Um, so we're gonna look at three different parts of this. So the first part is how the constituency views itself. So through framing, we're gonna promote a sense of self-confidence and capacity in, within the constituency to build that perspective and build that buy-in. The next part is how one, how one part of the constituency sees the other part of the constituency. This is super important in building influence, and it is to argue that everyone deserves a voice. A way to do this through framing is to argue that everyone deserves a voice, and everyone has a story, and it is important to be heard. So to build that buy-in across the constituency. And the final part is how others see the constituency. So a way that we can use this through framing is show that they are the target of the other's abuses and try to build it through that and try to build it through common perspectives. So we talked about a little bit here and I wanted to speak about what part resonated with me. Um, I think that these are very, um, the, the way that this article talks about building influence and building um, that influence the followers' perceptions, attitudes, and beliefs is like really important for me as a leader to learn how to do that and gives kind of concrete ways of framing it up to build that cognitive shift for people, which I think is super important. Um, and this has a lot to do with us as school leaders because we might need to have a cognitive shift in a certain idea within our school and whether it's an issue or whether it's through like a constituency related problem um, and i think that's super important um, so you are going to take some time right now and you're going to write um, down and be ready to share it in class this question right here so what part of this resonated with you 
And then um, you are going to, um, I think this is really important for us at SPA, is how does this help us as school leaders? And you're gonna take the time to write that in your journal and be ready to jump into class, ready to answer some questions and ready for a discussion. Bye all, thank you.